Thanks again. Seven people taken to the hospital in that crash. 22 people were on board the city utilities bus. A family is mourning tonight after a tragic incident at the Lake of the Ozarks. Yolanda Munoz Garcia, 19 year old from Kansas City, died at the hospital Monday after going under the water and not resurfacing Saturday afternoon. Color 10 Shadaya Tomlin spoke with her sister in law. We've all been really, really devastated about this news. Really bad. A young woman gone too soon after a swimming accident at the Lake of the Ozarks. We are in very great denial. She always helped people when they needed help. Her goal was to buy her mom a house. And she was working a lot for that reason. On July 29th, 19 year old Yolanda Munoz Garcia from Kansas City drowned at Ha Ha Tonka State Park after struggling and going underwater. Her and her boyfriend worked together at the lake. Um, they saw him, they were having a good time, normal like always. They were saying that she was 20, 15 to 20 minutes underwater. Her sister-in-law says she is thankful for two bystanders who helped pull Yolanda back to the surface and did their best to save her life. And bystanders took her out um, and they were doing CPR. Um, until the ambulance got there. It took the ambulance 40 minutes to get there. The family says Yolanda was not a strong swimmer and that they are questioning whether more safety measures could be in place. There is actually no signs to be seen anywhere that no swimming or nothing. I'm pretty sure if there was signs that the water was too deep or danger or whatever, they would have not gotten in there. Highway Patrol wants to remind people to be cautious this summer on the lakes. We spend a lot of time talking about people wearing seatbelts and vehicles. And, and when it comes to the water side, we want people to remember to, to make sure that they wear a, um, you know, flotation device. So they've got some type of a life jacket with them. That was Color 10 Shadiah Tomlin reporting.